I was looking at Godot's source code. And if you've ever looked at, sorry, I'm going to get totally off track, but oh my gosh, if we look up Godot on GitHub, okay, because I'm like, I'm planning on building a game engine. Now, am I going to build a fully featured game engine? Probably not, right? But I was like, I'm going to take a look at some source code of a game engine to get an idea of what I'm getting myself into. Right? Godot, if you didn't know, was made in C++. It's got a little bit of these other languages there, but that's just for platform specific stuff. It, it's a C++ application. And already I'm like, OK, that's quite a few folders, right? So I'm like, OK, let's look at the main folder. Let's just go straight to main. And if you don't know how um, C++ works, you get, I think it's a, like, this is supposed to be like a header file or something like that. So I'm like, okay, they got the headers. They got, you know, their enums, their, um, I think this is basically like their version of like their, uh, uh, what's the word for it? I'm losing the word. Does anyone have the word that I'm looking for? Like the, uh. Java uses the name for it. The. I can't think of it. What is. I look at some of my Java code on now. I think I use it on solar farm. It's just a little. Thing that I used. Implements text.io and text.io is a interface. That's the word I was looking for. An interface. Oh my gosh. I couldn't think of the word interface. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like supposed to be an interface in the .h file, but I'm not sure. All I know is I don't understand most of that mumbo jumbo. But then you look at the actual min.c++. And if we go in here, prepare yourself. Do you see how small that scroller is? I know it's probably really small on your screen, but it's really small to me too. So of course we see this file is part of the Godot engine copyrights and all of that permission is granted free of charge right nice little comment about the licensing all of these includes this is just the normal includes and then you've got the ones for 2d and then you've got some for 3d you've got your singletons your drivers your engine config tools your display we're still like, we're still just initializing variables. How is that supposed to make sense? How is that supposed to make sense? I may do a stream where I walk through. Would that be interesting to you guys? Would you guys want to do like, would you guys be interested in a stream where I like walked through the Godot? Um, I can't even think of the word now. The Godot source code. Would that be would that be interesting to you guys? I would have fun doing it. I feel like I'd probably end up pulling my hair out just considering looking at just this main file. But um, yeah, let me know. Let me know in chat if, uh, if that sounds like something you're interested in. I'm totally down to do it. How many lines even is this? It's ridiculous. We're still going. 4,792 lines in one file is bonkers to me. And that's not even the beginning of it. I mean, this goes like, if you look in the editor, right? You've just got files on files, scene create dialogue. I mean, it is it is huge. It is literally, it is no joke. This clip was pulled straight from my Twitch stream. If you want to see a full walkthrough of the Godot source code, let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow me over on Twitch so you can catch all my streams live. Also, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe.
It really helps the algorithm and you'll get to see way more content like this. You can also follow me on all my socials if you want to stay connected. All of those links are down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you next time.